What can you say about Zachariah's performance and when's the last time you had a true freshman in the press conference after his first game? Yeah, and, and done it much. Um, but, you know, once guys play, then, then you know, that, that's just that's part of it, right? It's, it's, it's not freshmen, it's not seniors in there. It's just USC football players now. He, you know, felt like that he earned it, um, made an impact on offense, made an impact on special teams. I uh, thought he did a good job. You know, not trying to do too much, which guys in their first game sometimes will do. And I thought he was, you know, the patience, especially on the uh, on the return. I mean, you saw a lot of patience there, which was which was key. And, and we talked about trusting and going in this first game. He was a great example of that, and obviously heavily impacted the game. You know, it was always a dream for me to to be at a prestigious university and be around the elite staff and elite players. Um, so all day, you know, they were juicing us up from the morning all the way up into the game, and I was just real excited. And then, I mean, our coaches always told us to, you know, just trust our instinct, trust our process, and I mean, just go out there and execute. I mean, once I once I touched that end zone, I, the crowd turned me up a little bit. I know it's a different sport, but like, why were you inspired to pull that one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just, I mean, I got into the game FIFA and I had scored a goal one time and I just did the celebration button. I was like, that's, that's pretty cool. So I've been playing that for like two months. I was like, the opportunity to come. And then I was like, when I go like this, I'm raging to the crowd. So, did it. I, was, I, uh, I was, I ain't gonna lie. Like, um, I just knew he was gonna take one, take one to the house tonight. It was funny, the one he took to the house, I, I had my back turned. Um, but when I was, the guy was blocking was just like, oh, he gone. So I turn around. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to clarify, you on the field, the guy you were blocking said, "Oh, he's gone." Uh, yeah, like, no. During the play. He said it. That's why. I, that's like I wish I had the clip. Like that's why I turned around. I was like, "Oh yeah, he out." <laughs> we both was watching, so yeah. he enjoyed it as much as I did. Mm -hmm. I called it. I tried to tell him more. Zach, Zach, Zach is like that for real. It's exciting watching him. He reminds me. Of, um, We've had a lot of comparisons, a lot of debate in the locker room. To me, he reminds me of DeAnthony Thomas that played for mm -hmm. Oregon years ago. Um, a lot of guys say they remind him of a young Tavon Austin, but um, like, yeah, he's he's talented, man. He's it's wild. It's gonna be scary. Like, just the thing that he's only what 18, I think. So yeah, it's gonna be wild to see him grow and, and continue to get better because he's definitely gonna get better. Does he, does he ever chime in on that on the comparisons? Nah, he just sits there and laugh at us. I mean, he, he knows that he. I mean, he's he's young. Like, he don't even like. He's probably gonna go home and play the game right now. Like, he's, <laughs> he don't. I don't even think he knows what he did tonight, but I do for sure. <laughs> Zach plays very confidently. What do you see in him as a true freshman? Oh, that kid's energy is just always positive, you know. Even me as an old old guy sometimes, you know. It's not that I'm, like, negative, but, you know. Sometimes I may just kind of have my head down and kind of zoning out. He's like, Didi, you good? You know. <laughs> He's always checking me out and making sure I'm right. So I, I just love that energy every day. Uh, it brings a smile to my face, and that's just, like, that's just one of those things, you know. It just shows on the field, you know, it's one of those, it, it, it correlates uh, just his positive energy, his positive attitude, um, and he plays like a beast. Like, what, what all the offensive line shuffling say about where that unit is at right now? Well, I, a lot of it is for positive reason, but yeah, we're, we've, we've got some things to, to sort out. Um, we think we've got multiple guys that are capable of being starters. Uh, this will be an interesting film to go back and look at uh, to see how some of those guys did. I thought they, they settled in some as the game went on. Um, yeah, we've got to obviously find that rock, the right combination, which we will. Um, but you know, specifically at the guard positions, it, it'll be interesting. There's going to be a lot of competition, and there's going to be you know not just that position, but a lot of others right now um, going through. And that's again, that, that's how we want it to be. Like we. We don't want guys feeling comfortable. We want guys pressing, knowing that they need to get better for the team and they need to get better to continue to get reps. And it'll be expected of the old line and every other group. How did Lonnie handle his first game? And what were you having to talk to him about during the game? Kind of help him yeah, he just uh, he did really well. You know, he's he's a I love that kid. He's so innocent. He's uh, <laughs> he's like, are you nervous normally before a game? I'm like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he's like, but you'll be all right, big dog. Like, it, it's all part. Of it. He's like, he's gonna be a phenomenal player. Uh, he did really well, you know. Some freshman mistakes happens. Um, happens to me too, even as a senior. So not really freshman mistakes, just mistakes. And so uh, it's great that he has that film now. He can go watch it, learn from it, learn from those experiences. That's the that's the best teacher, you know, uh, is experience. Um, shoot, 
he he's special. You know, we've seen it. Like we've seen everything, but you know, um, especially in practice, you know, he does crazy stuff. So you know, um, it's just another play, another testament to who he is and how special he is. Here, here we go with uh, yeah. everybody's going to write the narrative after the first game. I mean, I'm listen. It, it's going to be a climb, right? It's going to be a climb. I like, I like what I see out there in terms of our good plays and how our guys are flying around. The depth that we have, we will continue to improve the baseline um, for that group. The ceiling for that group is much higher than it was 12 months ago. And no matter what the score was. If this was a three-point game, if it was a 28-point game, if it was a 50-point game, there's going to be that climb to the next step. And that's where our focus is going to stay. So I, I love what we have in there, kind of like Mason said, and he's exactly right. A lot of work to do, and we're the right people to get it done. Thank you, gentlemen.